Hey, today we're going to look at this beautiful home. This is really close to the airport and the strip right here. In fact, if I come out here, uh, out in the distance, you can see the top of New York, New York. Those towers over there, that's New York, New York. So it's really close to the strip right here. Great location, but it's far enough away that you don't feel you're at the strip. This is a really nice two-story home. Desert landscaped, um, very nice. So low maintenance yard, it's an 8,000, over 8,000 square foot lot. The home is 1,900 square feet. Let's go take a peek. Okay, inside this beautiful home, it's going for 375. And we come in the doorway, come into a nice big lounge room, family room with a fireplace, open fireplace, I love that. You got, this, this is a 20, by 12 space right here nice big open nice carpeted everything has been um, freshly updated upgraded in the home all fresh paint on the walls the tile works all looking really nice carpets all being cleaned or, or, or renewed uh, it's built in the 1970s actually 1970 this house is built in so it's a really good deal for 375 k and it's a three bedroom there's actually you could say a fourth bedroom we'll take a look at it. it's like a loft um, and then it's just under 2,000 square feet it's 1,900 square feet so coming out of the main living space right here we come into this uh, dining space here and this one here is like 12 by 10 space right here right in this zone and then we go into the kitchen. We've got a nice freshly redone countertops, you know, the marble style countertops, looking very nice. We've got a nice uh, full cooktop, stovetop, a mana. You've got a nice microwave. Cabinets are looking really good. And like I said, I like the marble style countertops, really nice and a new fixture in there and then a nice big window out into a nice big backyard and then you've got another space right here this could be an alternate dining space or living space however you want to make it but again here you've got like a 12 by say 16 space right in here nice big living space open living space that then you know goes into the kitchen and then you've got a hallway right here that's going to go down into the first room we came into then we've got a nice big two-car garage oh, that's really cool and then we'll go upstairs or oh, you got a, we got one bathroom down here again you have the same marble style countertop uh, single vanity here nice big mirror and lights so we've got a half bath down here and then we'll go upstairs. Here we've got a little closet space in here. That's really nice, uh, under, underneath the stairwell. The closet space. And let's uh, cruise up and the carpeting's all been redone. Very nice. And then we've got a bunch of bedrooms up here. This one here is the primary bedroom. It's a very nice big open space. It's like a, a 14 by 16 space for your primary bedroom. And then you've got your primary bathroom attached. Uh, single vanity, nice fixture. You've got a shower stall right there and Mr. Waterloo. A nice big walk-in closet right in here. That's all good. That's your primary bedroom. Then we have, obviously the stairwells, we've got three more bedrooms in here. And so it's four bedroom, that's a good deal. This one here is like a 10 by 11 space. Got your uh, closet right there, closet space right there. Back to the hallway. Now we've got another same size bedroom, a 10 by 11. And then the, the closet space there. 
And then we're going to have another bathroom. This will be the third bathroom with your uh, tub and shower. And the tile work's been freshly redone here. Really nice tile work there. Everything's been repainted. You've got new counters top on the, on the vanity right here. And then we have a fourth bedroom. This one's a little bigger, this bedroom. This space here is like a 14 by, it's about a 14 by uh, 15 or 16 space right in here. This is a nice bigger bedroom right here. And again, you've got your closet space right there. And then a nice feature of this home is you also have right in here with the second, the, the roof being vaulted right here, like a little loft. A little like this could be a nice little office space right in here. Or, you know, it could be, it could be another bedroom if you wanted it. So that you could technically, you could have five bedrooms or an, an office space, something like that. So that's, that's a nice feature of this home. Now let's go take a peek outside. It's like I said, this uh, home is on a big lot. It's uh, 8,000 square feet or over at 8,000 square feet. And there's no HOA, so you can see you've got a great big backyard. It's all fully desert landscape, so it's super low maintenance. And you've got a little shed out here, so nice storage shed. You've got a nice covered patio out here. So these, these are all great features of any place you want. Little space in the summertime right here under the, under the patio. And you know, if you wanted to, you could put a pool in here for sure. You could put a pool gazebo you could put you could put a little mini mini putt putt golf course here if you wanted to so you've got a lot of potential here in your backyard nice big backyard plus you know technically that could almost be like rv parking here on the side too oh well, maybe it's not quite enough room but almost you could probably get certain rvs you could get through there for sure so there's a, there's a lot of uh, good potential in this home Okay, so I really enjoyed looking at this home. It's really nice. Great location, like I said, it's like 10 minutes drive from the strip close to the airport. Night, built in 1970, fully remodeled, fully updated, all fresh paint, carpets, countertops. Really nice, a big backyard, lots of potential. 375, that's a good price. Uh, just under 2,000 square feet. The home itself, four bedrooms with maybe like the fifth possible bedroom or a loft study kind of deal. So what do you guys think? Drop me a comment and I'll see you in the next one.